What is going on YouTube? This is Gavin21202 aka Gavin Orlandi here bringing you all the latest WWE newsrooms, headlines, and updates. Now ladies and gentlemen, happy Friday. I know it's not a long WWE video, um, but ladies and gentlemen, I am bringing you some breaking news and exclusive news. I mean, not only that can you find on this channel, you can find on a bunch of other different places, ladies and gentlemen. There are rumored matches for WrestleMania 35 and WWE's current plans for the current match card that is rumored for next year's, or not even next year's, this coming uh, March, or March, either March or April's WrestleMania 35 event, ladies and gentlemen. Now, with that being said, WrestleMania, we all know what it is. We all heard the rumored matches, and... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to get right down to it, and I'm going to name them right out for you. The first rumored match is Batista taking on Triple H, but although that might be sidelined and may not happen due to the fact that Triple H has been injured with his pectoral and may not be wanting to step back into the ring after maybe uh, Crown Jewel. Uh, so that'll all have to depend on that. The second match is none other than... Then Brock Lesnar, who is supposedly going to be holding the Universal Championship by WrestleMania, defending his Universal Championship against none other than the architect Seth Rollins in a various feud that is supposed to be, uh, supposedly supposed to uh, accommodate when Seth Rollins wins the 2019 Royal Rumble, which he is the current favorite to win the match, go on, face Lesnar at Mania, and hopefully defeat Lesnar for the Universal title. The second rumored match, these are just matches that WWE has penciled in coming from Ringside Nudes, which you can read down in the link in the description below. The next match being Daniel Bryan defending the WWE Championship against Shawn Michaels. Therefore, if Daniel Bryan is the WWE Championship, uh, the WWE Champion at that time, there is no timetable for that on Daniel Bryan's championship reign, but I would suspect that he would be holding the title by then. But ladies and gentlemen, the last match that WWE has in store for WrestleMania 35 penciled in currently is Ronda Rousey going up against Becky Lynch. Now, there were rumors about WWE maybe doing a dual title match. Becky Lynch even, you know, teased it, saying how she was going to walk out of WrestleMania, dual champion. Um, but with that being said, I don't know if WWE is going to do that. You know, Ronda, she's over on Raw. Uh... Uh, Becky, she's over on SmackDown. As we know, that match was supposed to be Charlotte Flair taking on uh, Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. But due to the fact that that got thrown into uh, action early due to the fact that Becky Lynch got injured by Nia Jax, was unable to compete at TLC, or excuse me, not TLC, Survivor Series. So they had to put Charlotte Flair in her place to, you know, replace her. So it seems that WWE is currently working on the Charlotte and... Ronda feud while WWE waits to build up more on the Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey feud headed into WrestleMania. And it is rumored that Ronda Rousey taking on Becky Lynch is set to main event the show of the Immortals. Now, my stance on that, I, I'm not a big fan of the idea. I don't really think that that should be the main event match. But I, although I like what they're doing, I like what they're doing. They're giving all these women these all these opportunities, and they're capitalizing on all of them. It's just I don't think that that is a match that should be in the main event. Put put Seth versus Brock in the main event. Hell, put 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 something else in the main event. Hell, I would say Triple H and Batista, but I don't I don't think part timers deserve to be in the main event in general. I don't think. That's just my stance on that whole situation. I, th I think I've even came on video a couple times before and talked about my stance on part-timers and all that jitter-jatter. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, four matches currently penciled in for WrestleMania 35. It seems like a couple of them may be happening. It seems like the other two are kind of iffy. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first on this channel. First four matches penciled in, ladies and gentlemen, in order for me to bring you in more Let's start that over. In order for me to bring you all of the latest WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates, you guys already know what it is. I need you guys to like this video, favorite this video, share this on every social media platform that's only possible, send something to the P.O. box, and do me one last thing, and definitely subscribe. Thanks, guys. I love each and every single one of you. Have a fantastic weekend. Wow.